I do wonder what is going to happen to these countries if they remain. Uh, uh, it's not just being in the euro, it's being part of the policies, that, the fiscal policies, that are essentially controlled from Brussels, uh, where uh, a few countries have a lot of influence on the, the terms of loans, the way that funds can be used. Um, uh, currently, the, uh, I mean, th these unemployment levels are very high, but they're growing. They're not, they're not going down. And that has already been true for some time. You hear a lot of people now uh, saying that uh, this might go on for up to 10 years. Um, I keep worrying that the last time that uh, there were figures like this for unemployment was the Great Depression. And uh, that only stopped because of war, uh, because of the war expenditures and, and all that. Um, and I hope we're not going to have anything like that now. Because the war, of course, was only rather indirectly caused by, by it. Uh, but to have something like this going on for 10 years seems to me just inconceivable. I mean, people are not surely going to put up with it. You can say enough austerity, uh, we can't do it. And the, the whole question is, how is it possible for a country like Spain or Greece to uh, stop the austerity program without uh, getting out of the euro? Uh, nobody has explained to me how, the, how they can do that. Uh, but they could. If they were out of it and had their own currency, oh, lots of problems. This, this would be rather awful in, in, in a number of ways. But they, they could actually uh, take control of their own uh, exp expenditure and stop the austerity and get back to a reasonable state. Well, Italy, I, as, as usual with any country, I ought to know more about it. Um, but I, I'm particularly concerned that in the case of Italy, unemployment seems to have been high for a long time. Uh, so you don't have the picture you have with, say, Spain, where there's been a big increase in unemployment. And so we're quite sure that uh, a big increase in government expenditure would uh, would do a lot to get back to the sorts of levels of investment that we've had. And you might only need to do it for a year or so. Uh, Italy, well, that's doubtful. I, I really think that uh, there probably isn't the excess capacity waiting to come online. So it, it demands much more sophisticated policies like uh, employment subsidies, which uh, would not be initially very popular with, uh, with many of the, the voters. So I, mean, I, I can see interesting problems ahead. Oh dear. <laughs>